So we've got an epoxy flate garage floor we're doing here today. We already got this all ground cleaned off. There was a coating on here previously, so we got that ground off. Now we're just patching up some little defects and then we're going to get to putting the coating on. Hey guys, Mike here. So is a epoxy garage flake floor a DIY project or not? That's what I'm going to go over here with you guys. You know, and honestly, I think it can be if you have a little bit of knowledge, you know, if you know the the proper tools to use to get your prep done, the proper product to use to make sure you get a really good long lasting coating, and just a, a little bit of training that's going to teach you how the professionals do it like we do. We do, you know, 50 to 100 of these flake floors for garages a year, and we've developed a process that we use, a set of steps we use on every single one that gives us a, a really good success rate on these floors. So, and that's what I want to go over with you in this video, because if you're thinking of doing your own garage floor, and you want to make sure you're using the right materials, you want to make sure that you prep the floor properly, and uh, you want to make sure you take the right steps in order to do this thing right and get it done right. So, I've, I've actually made a training course for you guys. The link is down in the description that shows you step by step how to do this in detail. So, I mean, this video here is basically an overview for you to show you that this can be done. But my training course, my training course, I, I, I spent a lot of time making it for you guys. And it, it just completely covers everything you need to know if you want to try to do this yourself. So make sure you check that out down in the description of the video below. So the homeowner had previously tried to do this garage floor themselves. And they got it about half done, that, that part on the left. They got a, a DIY coating on that from a big box store, and it just came out horrible. So they didn't even bother doing the second half. That's why it looks a little different from one half to the other. Um, we had to grind the coating off the left half. And the right half here, we just had to you know grind the, the concrete itself. So it looks a little different, but it's, it's prepped properly. We ground all the, the, you know, the whole floor here. And then we had to repair some uh, divots and some small cracks and chips and stuff like that. And I, I teach you how to repair all that stuff in the course too. So now we're at the point where we're putting the base coat on and just applying the flake. And we don't use just any type of product here. I got two, two companies I like to buy from. And I, I completely show you how to get it, where to get it, how to apply it. Um, how to mix it and everything that in the course, but we uh, we've had real good success with this this base coat here We use both epoxy and polyaspartic on our floors um, Depending on sometimes it depends on the conditions. Sometimes it depends on the temperatures um, But if it's uh, you know mostly in the summertime when the temperatures are in the 70s or so we'll use a epo epoxy for the base coat Epoxy doesn't seem to dry quite as fast as polyaspartic sometimes and they're a little more temperature sensitive as far as dry times so we can use an epoxy for a base coat and then use a clear polyaspartic top coat and then as the temperatures cool down a little bit the polyaspartic seem to dry a little bit better in the cooler temperatures so we'll actually go with a polyaspartic base coat and a polyaspartic top coat so, you know, we can get this thing cured up and still get it done in a day if we need to. Most of these garage floors with the products we use, we can get done in a day. So, the prep, the grinding, the, the repair, the base coat, putting the flake in it like I'm doing now, getting that to dry, and then, you know, scraping, cleaning, and then doing the top coat, all done in one day. So, that it limits, really limits the downtime for the customer we're working for. And it limits some of the travel time for us too because some of these garages, you know, are an hour or two away from the shop. And sometimes it's just nice to get it all done in a day and then you're moving on to the, upper, the next project the next day. And this really works good with three guys. I mean, two people can do this pretty easily if you need to. Um, three works really good. Then you got one guy pretty much focusing on the mixing part and then one guy cutting in edges and kind of spreading the product and then one guy flaking like I'm doing right now. 
And then if I get caught up with the flake in here, then I can just step back and help with uh, spreading the product also. But most, all the garage floors we do, you know, we, we, we use 100% solids epoxy for base coats. We'll use 85 to 100% solids uh, polyaspartics, mostly 85 to 90. And I, I cover what all that stuff means in the course for you guys. And then uh, that, we get really, really good results from that and they last for years and years and years. Now, the product itself that we buy is a little bit more expensive than the product you're gonna get at a big box store, but it goes on much thicker. It's a much better uh, chemistry than those you'll get at the big box stores. And we've, you know, we've had good results. We've been doing this over 20 years. So these these coatings that we're putting down right here last a long, long time. Those flakes, those flakes we get, you know, we buy those flakes in bulk. They come in either 25 pound boxes or 40 pound boxes. And we broadcast what we call to rejection. So we completely cover the base coat and you know actually throw more on than we need and then we scrape it like this and get it nice and smooth and then we'll clean that flake up after and we can reuse that flake that we're scraping right there that's still clean so we can pick that up and put it back in the box and use it on another job but uh after we get done scraping picking that stuff up picking up the majority of it then we'll just we'll run over it with a vacuum some most time twice and then sometimes we'll even have like a little little leaf blower and we'll will actually blow it out after we vacuum it and you'll, you'll see a few flakes still blow off but once we get it clean then we're ready for the top coat here and we're putting on a clear polyaspartic top coat polyaspartics are really chemical resistant they're really abrasion resistant uh, they hold up well in the sun when the sun's beating in the garage doors you know they're not going to turn yellow or anything like that and they they really give the the flake a really nice sheen to the product so it looks really really nice it looks like a showroom floor when you're done putting a polyaspartic top coat on it but basically you know we'll we'll put it down according to the coverage rates from the manufacturer uh, I cover all that stuff coverage rates that we that we put this stuff down at for you in the in the course but basically you know we'll we'll put down a ribbon around the edge we'll cut our edges in we got a chip brush, then we got a four inch roller that we use, and then we got an 18 inch roller we use to do, you know, the main part of the floor. And typically we'll do about a gallon at a time. You know, a gallon covers, depending on what product you're using, but mostly around 120 square feet a gallon for the top coat. So you just, you measure out your sections. We actually mark it off with a little piece of tape every 120 square feet. So we know just where we need to be with that gallon. And then in this case, you know, Darren goes back and mixes another gallon and we just do those sections until we're done. But putting, you know, these coatings down, these epoxy flake garage full of coatings in, in the right step, making sure you're going from step one to step two to three to four to five, really ensures that this thing's going to be done right. You're not going to have any problems with it peeling or blistering or or thin spots or thick spots or anything like that and that's just why that's kind of why I'm, I'm making this video is to show you guys there is a right way and there's a, there can be a wrong way to do these most people without any training you know do it the wrong way and then uh, they're really not happy with the results because I the reason I know that is because I get called by so many homeowners who have tried this and you know with a with a big box store product and then we're going back the next year and we're grinding it off because it looks horrible. It's coming off where they're driving in under the tires and it just isn't last. And it, and it looks worse than actually when they put it on. So we're grinding off that product and we're putting ours on here. And so I, so I figured, you know what, I'm just going to make you guys a course to teach you guys how to do this if you want to do it yourself. You get the course go through it and it's going to teach you everything you need to know plus you know you get to ask me questions too so i can help you out with that but this is the basic procedure you know and this is how we finish up all our garages whether they're this one happens to be a 24 24 garage you know we do them all sizes we did a 60 by 40 um this exact same way you just break it down into sections and that's how it goes and 
you know when you're done this is what it's gonna look like right here so it looks that's pretty much showroom floor right there and that thing's gonna last that'll last 10 15 20 years if you just keep, keep good care of it you know keep it clean this is the before if you remember what it looked like before after we got it ground and you know this is what it looks like now that the coatings on it so again guys check out the course down in the description below thanks for watching subscribe if you haven't subscribed and we'll see you on the next one